Welcome back to my channel and today we're going to be discussing the case of Carlethea Russell, a 25 year old woman out of Alabama who went missing after telling a 911 dispatcher that she saw a toddler walking along the side of an interstate has been found alive according to authorities. Carly was last seen here on I-459 near John Hawkins Parkway in Hoover. On Thursday evening, police say Carly called 911 saying a toddler was walking down the side of the interstate. After calling police, she stopped to get the child and called a family member. When police arrived, they found her car and belongings nearby, but no sign of her or the child. Family member is now on the search for Carly. Her parents desperate for her return. To keep applying the pressure to keep this thing going. Um, we really want this to blow up. We want the word of the day to be Carly. Um, we just want to have, have her back home safe. Now, law enforcement, local organizations, and Anaya Blanchard's mom, Angela Harris, also helping out with this search. Now, her parents tell WVTM that she was last seen wearing all black and white Nike shoes. They are also putting this flyer up in Hoover and surrounding areas. In Hoover, Patsy Douglas, WVTM. 13. Now, before the 911 call was placed, Carlethea Thursday night said she stopped by Hollandale at 9 p.m. to pick up food for herself and her mother. Carlethea Carly Nicole Russell contacted 911 about 9.34 p.m. on Thursday, July 13th and reported seeing a toddler walking alongside I-459 South near mile marker 11, according to the Hoover Police Department. After the call, Russell stopped her vehicle to check on the toddler and call a family member. Her mother, Talithia Russell, said her daughter was on the phone with her brother's girlfriend. Carly pulled over after saying she saw a child that appeared to be about three or four years old. Talithia Russell said that she also said that, in quote, my son's girlfriend heard her asking the child, are you okay? She never heard the child say anything, but then she heard our daughter scream, Talithia Russell said. And then she says, all you hear on the phone is background noise from the interstate. According to her mother, Talithia, she said her car door was open. They, she also said they found her phone on the ground alongside with her wig and her hat. Her purse was still in the car. Her Apple watch was still in her purse and her AirPods as well. A trucker reported possibly seeing a gray vehicle with a light complected male standing outside of Carly's vehicle, but they have no further information on the individual or the vehicle at this time. When the police officers arrived at the scene, they found Russell's vehicle and some of her belongings, including her phone, but no sign of her or the child, according to the police. Aside from the call placed by Carlethea, the Hoover police said that they have not received any other calls of someone missing a small child. At 10.45 p.m., local time Saturday, the Hoover 911 Center received a call that Russell had returned home, Hoover police said in a statement. Hoover Police Chief Durzis told WBRC that Russell had showed up at her family's front door. He was not sure how she had got there. Hoover Police and Fire responded to the scene to evaluate Russell. She was taken to the hospital for further evaluation. Before we got all of the updates from police that Carly had been found and returned home and now she is at UAB Hospital being cared for and evaluated. This is incredible. Take a look at this video here earlier from uh, some of the neighborhoods that uh, our house. This is the house of the neighborhood where Carly returned home minutes after she was found. After she returned there, you can see the police lights in the distance. Hoover police confirming to WBRC they received a phone call around 1045 that she had returned home. Fire department showed up, police showed up, of course, to look her, her, look her over, see how she was doing. They took her to UAB Hospital where she is being evaluated right now. Taylor Pollock is there at the scene. We have our crews there speaking with family. Taylor Pollock saying that she spoke to a friend who just says she's happy to have her home. And that has been the message throughout the duration of these last 48 hours. People just wanted Carly Russell to be returned home alive and safe. And that is the most important detail that we can give you tonight, that she is home right now. The community coming together, the outpouring of support that I have witnessed from this community, the news media, everyone joined in 
on making sure that everyone saw Carly Russell's picture. Everyone knew who to look for, and it has been ongoing 24 seven around the clock. And the community so proud of the outpouring of support that this family has received. And they have said the support they have received has been overwhelming for them. Her mother listening to her and her father remain strong and lean on their faith in all of this as they continued to look for her again. It's been 48 hours. She went missing Thursday night. And here we are tonight a little bit after what time is it now, y'all? After midnight. We're confirmed to us about all of this. And let's go now to our own anchor, WBRC anchor Janice Rogers. Janice, can you tell me where you are and what you know about all of this so far? Hey, Brittany, uh, I, I am at home, actually, at this moment. We had ridden over to uh, where Carly Russell lives and that she appeared to be in shock and that they were going to take her to UAB Hospital, which we now know that they did. Uh, but just hearing Angela cry, as most of our viewers will know, Angela Harris, Anaya Blanchard's mother, who sadly had gone through this, mm -hmm. uh, but her daughter ended up uh, being murdered and not coming home. But she had been helping this family uh, through their uh, concern of trying to find their daughter over the past couple of days. And um, she's the one who told us about it tonight, that she indeed is alive, but in shock, as she described it. Absolutely. Janice, you said that she was dropped off at her house. Do you know more That's about that? I don't at this okay. point, and Angela did not either. But um, the fact that she was dropped off at her house, we was, you know, that was that was pretty surprising. And you can only imagine the relief among her family, uh, the neighbors who had held that vigil that that we all saw this week, mm -hmm. uh, yesterday, uh, to try to bring her back. So, you know, you've been talking about it. A lot of prayers. Uh, people really were engaged in this story, mm -hmm. and you know, regardless, it doesn't matter. What happened? We'll learn the details later of why she disappeared, what happened to her. Um, but right now, the relief is that she's alive and she's yes. back with her family. Absolutely, Janice. Thank you so much. And again, that is the most important detail. 25-year-old Carly Russell has returned home. She is being evaluated at UAB Hospital. She is alive. And that is the most important detail of this entire story. Russell's return ended in a 48-hour search that grabbed national attention. The circumstances of her sudden disappearance are still very unclear. As of Sunday morning, July 16th, the mystery led to hundreds of social media posts from people sharing what they think happened. Honestly, I'm thankful that she's been found, but I'm also really wondering about what she saw and what led up to her mysterious return home to her parents. Comment below about what you think may have happened. Thank you for listening. Bye.